Good morning, boss. Good morning. I feel like I just seen you. Yes, you did. We just did a good night video. <laughs> and I'm in the same clothes now. I'm kidding. <laughs> and you have pineapples on your head again. I have pineapples on my head again. The pineapple wraps are definitely my favorite. So even with all that rain, guys, we still, the grass is still a little slow to get back. I mean, this one's been, I think this is 12 days. It's weekly, but we're, we should be caught up after the end of tomorrow, definitely on all our lawns and be back on a normal schedule. Yeah. Um, but we are supposed to get more rain tomorrow. Yeah. Nothing like you guys up there in Ohio and all that. I seen flooding again all this week. I. I'm hoping you guys don't get as much as they say because I know it's been tough on a lot of you guys. Yeah, I'm with sorry. This weather. I mean, I know that we a lot of us did say that um, drought is definitely worse, but it does make it very difficult when yards are extremely mushy and you're having to push everything, and yeah, it just an, takes you longer. It's, a, it's an extreme. That. Yeah, you know? it's an it extreme. is an extreme, and extremes in this business are difficult, but we can get through them. Yeah, we will. You know. So we have about, I told the boss, I think there's 21 to do. Actually, there's 28 to do by Wednesday. So if we do 10, 15 today, or mm -hmm. as many as we can, I'm just going to take it easy because I want to go home and farm later on in the day, like in the evening. That's So I want to work. Until, well, and the girls have to work anyway. Yeah, so we got to be done. So on, you know, Mondays, you guys know that. So. so I'm not sure what we'll show you. I'll show you before and afters like usual, but maybe I'll pick one to record a little bit, one that you guys haven't seen mowing on yeah so put on your sunscreen and your hat and let's get to work PSA <laughs> so here's the first one of the day Rachel's gonna go ahead and stripe this one I'm not sure which way she's gonna go probably diagonal again one day I'm gonna take it this way and do it like a uh, diamond but I haven't done that yet we usually go diagonal that way and then back and forth so I'll show you an after this one guys let's get Rachel mowing this up Rachel finished this one mowing. She mowed all this. This is one of my favorite yards. Like I said a million times, it used to be all ryegrass, new construction. We reseeded all this with fescue and we've been treating it. Now there's still some weeds in it, but we usually tell our clients it takes anywhere from two to three years to get it perfect. But that's what she looks like. Off to the next one. Here's number two, guys, of the day. It's a little warm out today, but nothing we can't deal with. And look, it's not crazy long. So Rachel mows all this. It's all the way down the back, and then I weed eat everything. I get weed eater duty on this one, right, boss? Yes, weed eater duty. Weed eater duty. I used to mow some of it, but she said I was too slow. So we'll get this done. So we're done number two. Not bad. This one you really can't stripe too good. It's got a lot of weeds, as you guys can see. So, off to number three, I think, which is an easy one. Three and four. I think they're both easy, but let's go get that done. So, we are at number three now, guys. This one grew some, not much. Hopefully, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow or later today. Oh, what was that? So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we could use the rain. So the boss is gonna mow the back, I'm gonna mow the front like usual. It's good. So she finished this way right here. Oh. She finished the back here with the 36. And I'll show you the front. I went usually I went the other way guys, straight up. I went a little diagonal this way to give it a little different pattern. So I'm not gonna weed eat the beds there. I'll pull some of the bigger ones even though we're not responsible for it, but I'll help them out. So off to number four after this. Four. I think it's number four. I think she might go, are there moles in this yard again? No, I don't really feel any. Oh yeah, moles again, really bad. Oh my God. Really, really bad. These moles are out of control anymore. I think I want to try castor oil. Castor oil? Has anybody had experience with castor oil? I don't know. Let us know if you have, and these are definitely moles in here, though. 
Yeah. Because we can get rid of them for a certain amount of time. Well, we can get rid of them as long as we're bombarding the yard with uh, mole scram. The minute, the minute you stop doing the mole scram, they come out in vengeance. Yeah, do you hear that? Yeah, there's a big storm coming our way, guys. So let's get this mowed and get out of here before it comes. Yeah. With, uh, with uh, the Ferris FW35, look at these beautiful flowers. This is a pretty plant, too. It gets purple, purple berries on it. So let's go see what the boss is doing back here. And this is number four. I let her mow the back. I mowed the front this time because to give it a different pattern. Here's the boss is mowing this. Man, that's gonna leave a dead spot in the grass. What are you gonna do? Was that poison sumac that was growing along her fence? Whose fence? Um, the one that we just did. Caitlin's? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Was it? I don't know. I was curious. Did you get hit by it? No. I stayed away from it. I grabbed it by my hand and pushed it up against the fence. No way. Yeah, I don't think it's poison sumac. Isn't poison sumac a vine or is it a tree? No, it's a tree. Well, I grabbed it, so. What? Are you kidding me? If I end up with bubbles all over my face, guys, you know I'm allergic to poison sumac. Really, man? Oh. That's ridiculous. The boss, she, when I do silly things like that, she <laughs> says really man a lot. Right? Yeah. So we're on number four. Six and seven. Oh yeah. So and these ones are like twenty days because it's still the rain hasn't made them grow much. Yeah. We'll but see. I think we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm hoping for rain. Send some of that stuff down here from Ohio. I know. Maybe if you all get up in the top of the state and blow, it'll blow the front down to really? us. Really? Like, get get your blowers. Use your blowers. Use your all your blowers. Everybody get together and Everybody blow it all down here. Everybody get your BR eight hundreds and your yeah. what PB eight eighties. And, you're <laughs> and just stand in a line in Ohio all the way across and start blowing it. Maybe yeah, that'll help. Maybe. Okay, we're going to get these three done. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be, we have two more down the road here. And that'll be... Ten for the day? No. Hmm. That, well, once we finish them two and the one over there, that'll be ten for the day so far. So I think we might be able to get a little bit more than that done. Because we got to head back down there. The girls have work. Yeah. And I'll be doing farm work after that. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Unless we get rained out. This is one that we have to take the keys and lock it. Yeah. We don't normally have to be very cautious because we're usually right there. Mm -hmm. But this is, we both are going in separate directions. Yeah, I go up here, she goes down there. Mm -hmm. so, and, we're, and we park on the main road. So, yeah. so let's right. go get this done. Okay, I finished that one down there, guys. Let's see how good the boss did over here. I got to weed eat everything. I gotta weed eat everything all the time. I'm gonna put a complaint into the human resources department so she gets to ride on the mowers all the time. Okay, let me weed eat all this. Yeah, I said we're on number eight and nine, and you really don't like these ones they're because they're like really them. hilly, pain. It's all push mowing, right? We'll yeah. get these done. I'm not going to show you them. You guys see them already, but just know they're number eight and nine for the day. Hot, hot, hot. Humid. So I finished this one, and the stripes go all the way down. Remember, we lost an account. Um, 
last week a $40 one now this one is 35 because it's so small but uh we ended up picking the neighbor up today to this one so and we did 35 because it's like this much mowing right here that's it and she's right next door so see you lose one and you gain an even better one because the one we did for 40 was three times as big as the one we're doing now for 35. so boss is finishing up blowing so we're on the last two of the day yeah you said to go down there and maybe do one by our, our neighbor, but I think they're about to get pounded with rain. Right? Yeah, so we'll see what we can do. If not, it leaves us for, we don't have to leave early tomorrow or pick any of the kids up or take them anywhere. So we would only have, I think 11 to get done tomorrow. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? Does that include that other extra that we Which added one? up in Asheville? Which one? The one that we have to spray for weeds to Steve. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So that includes him. So we're going to try to shoot for more than 11, though, because we don't have to come back. We're, they're, then, they're simple and ones. And then Wednesday will be And then be really, Wednesday really we'll be able to do some, uh, some... Oh, and that's another thing. We're going to add another account, too. So it's going to be actually 80 because the client that had another company do all the landscaping, and it was a huge project, so we couldn't take it on. I don't think no. we're going to... Rachel wanted that one. I do want that one. I mean, I... I was sad that we couldn't take on the landscaping project, even though I wanted to. It was probably a twenty, thirty thousand dollar project. Yeah, and I we just don't have the manpower to do it, and we told them that, and um, and we were okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we also said that if you have to look for another company, then we absolutely yeah. Understand. That doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothers me is when people have tell us when that they sneakily do it. They tell us like, they're going to do. They're going to have us do something, and then they get somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're not doing it, and they say, "Hey, do you want to take this on?" If we're too busy, we'll be honest with them and tell them, "No, if it's a landscaping project, you might want somebody else to take it on. We can't do it right now." I'm curious, like, how many of you guys do just strictly mowing? And then you do come ac across situations where other companies are coming in and and, pruning and your doing the landscaping and, and all that. Um, um, there's people or out there are that you do that. full service and you really want everything on that account? So let yeah. us know. That's what we would like everything on that account. Yeah. So. Definitely. Okay, I'll show you before and after these ones. Mm -hmm. The boss mows and bolts. I get weed eater duty again. Weed eater duty. I'm telling you, still needs to make up a short shaft weed eater so the boss can get on weed eater duty. Mm -hmm. Get the boss And it actually said um, to expect um, hail. Intense P ground lightning. And what P size? P hail? size to penny size hail and 50 mile an hour winds. But I don't think I think that's a little bit more north of us. So hopefully we don't get that. 
Man, it's crazy looking at it the way oh, man, that. I wonder what happened. There's fire trucks and everything everywhere. Oh, yeah. Get the rain. Oh, it's taking me to buy a new Chevy. I know. You guys want a new well, Chevy? Oh, oh that's. Chevy's on that's next door. Dodge. We don't want Dodge. No. I want another Chevy. Actually, I my next one, I think I want a GMC Denali. Yes, 2500. Mm hmm. So I think I have, my hair is a little messed up. I couldn't find my hat. Um, so guys, I'm not gonna time lapse any of the garden. I'm gonna do a quick walk through and show you guys. It's getting kind of dark out here. And um, I didn't get a chance. The kids wanted pancakes for dinner. So I didn't get a chance to do um, anything really. I'm gonna try to get some mushroom compost down tonight, hopefully. Um, what else was I gonna say? Paige told me she watered everything in the garden, so. She was a big help today. I said, you watered all the plants? I didn't expect her to do that, but thank goodness she did because I didn't really get anything done today. Let me show you some of the plants. So these squash were hurting pretty bad up in the containers. Oh, and they got all the plants planted in our butterfly garden. So we're gonna put the blue moon catmint right there, one here and one here for their, for their little balls on the top. And then they're gonna put pink flowers going down. And then hopefully we want to get a gazebo or something to put out there. So we'll see how that goes for when they're selling um, stuff. Carrots are looking good. She said she watered everything. I think, look, take you over here. So we have over here, all our beans are coming up. Rattlesnake beans. They're really cool beans, guys. Anything else that's interesting? So these are the plants here. We'll see how they do. These are doing better. It took a little while, but these ones we planted, they were all in pots, so they were stressed. I mean, look at the ones in pots now. See how they're all stressed. So what I do is I just plant them in the ground, pull all the peppers that are on there off. I know I'm not gonna get as much by doing that, but I want them to try to make leaves, so. And all these squash are coming back fine. And remember, I don't know if I showed it, the wilting cucumber, the one I forgot to water before I planted it. And here's the peppers. And we haven't had much rain, so I don't see any disease on my tomato leaves, which is good. Um, anytime I planted tomatoes, usually in the past, we planted them right in the ground and I never I never put them up like this. I just plant them in the ground and would get to them. I'd stake them up and we would get blight like really quick. And I'd say by midsummer, I was frustrated and would stop with the tomatoes. You so. bell pepper so far and it feels pretty good. I think that's the only, we might have a couple more. Um, and then over here, we'll have soon our banana peppers. I like these, we, we pickle these with uh, some banana peppers and me and Rachel like to eat them on sandwiches. And then look, here's the sweet millions. It's got millions of tomatoes on it. Little baby cherry tomatoes. I have so many cherry tomato plants. And I told Rachel to go crazy with the marigolds. Plant them everywhere and anywhere in the garden. These tomatoes, I still have to get staked up. We just picked cucumbers yesterday and I'm pretty sure there's probably more ready to be picked today. They grow pretty quick, I think. Like there's a bunch right there. A couple bigger ones. Oh man. See, look, I'm gonna eat this one. Nice. See them all down there? So we have a lot of cucumbers. She's gonna have to be pickling soon. And then the squash plants. I've never had squash and zucchini grow this good. And we haven't sprayed anything on the plants as far as neem oil. I haven't done, I'm uh, seen a guy that I started watching. He uses mint um, peppermint spray and he sprays it on there and he said it's done really good. So there's zucchinis all in there and I hope we have eggplant soon I seen a flower somewhere and they're really pretty flowers so guys that's the end of our day you seen we got 13 done it's now starting to rain out here which I want 
even though I'm not going to be able to do anything, but the plants need it. So even though Paige said she watered everything. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be happy, or at least